Hey everyone, it's Renee Yvonne, the gen sexologist, and it's May, which means it's Masturbation Month. So before I begin talking a little bit about masturbation and some of its benefits, I want to talk a little bit about how this came about. So I'm typically talking to Gen Xers and baby boomers. So you all probably remember in the Clinton administration, he had a Surgeon General by the name of Dr. Joycelyn Elders. And during that time that she was Surgeon General, she came out and talked about how masturbation is a part of what should be sex education and that it's a healthy way for teens and adults to express their sexuality. And Clinton, fired her. In response to that, a sex shop in San Francisco called Good Vibrations, which is an amazing store. If you're ever in San Francisco, you should definitely check it out. There's also one in Brookline, Massachusetts that you can check out, but the San Francisco one is awesome. They created Masturbation Month in response to that to kind of celebrate the fact that Dr. Elders came out with this. And I thought that was fantastic that she did. It was sad that she got fired over that, but because of it, we now have Masturbation Month. So let's talk a little bit about masturbation. If you grew up during the 70s, 80s, like I did, you probably got a lot of mixed messages about masturbation. I know when I was in high school, we were told that masturbation could um, make you go blind. I've heard that you'll grow hair on your hands. Um, I've heard all kinds of things about masturbation from people. And unfortunately, it's been one of those things that people have a lot of shame around that they masturbate, particularly women. Not so much men, I think, but definitely women have a lot of shame around that because we were taught it was nasty or dirty or don't touch yourself down there. But now we're older, we know better, we're not blind. Um, you know, we didn't grow hair on our palms like they told us. And now we can start really talking about it and how it is really an act of self-care for you to masturbate and that there's a lot of health benefits in it. So I'm going to start out talking about the health benefits for men. And then I'm going to talk about health benefits for women next week. I'm going to discuss some techniques to use in masturbation. And then I'm also going to discuss some toys that both men and women can try to help with their masturbation process practice. So the whole month is going to be full of that. I'm going to demo some toys or well, show some toys. I'll do a show and tell and demo them. But I'm going to show some toys and hopefully you will pick some up and try some new techniques or try some new toys to help you achieve orgasm. So let's get started. This week is all about masturbation with men. So the first is talking about some benefits for men. I have five benefits of masturbation for men. Now, a lot of guys may think, I already know, it relieves stress for me and that's why I do it. And I think that's great. That's awesome that you do that as a stress reliever and that is a benefit. But let's talk about some that are less well-known. So first of all, Masturbation can help lower the risk of prostate cancer. And you may not realize this, but if you masturbate 21 times a month, that seems like a lot, right? But maybe for some guys are like, I do that in a week, right? 21 times a month can lower your risk of prostate cancer by 33%. So there's a super great benefit in not getting prostate cancer if you masturbate. Number two, it can make you harder. So if you've been having difficulty with erectile dysfunction or um, early ejaculation or anything like that, masturbation can help. The reason is because masturbation works the pelvic floor. And as we get older, the pelvic floor gets a little lax, okay, for lack of a better word. It can, it can kind of just get a little, it doesn't get worked out as much. Masturbation helps to work that out, which helps to prevent incontinence, which is those times when you might sneeze or a sneeze because you, um, I'm sorry, you might pee a little bit because you sneeze or you coughed. And this can help to, when you strengthen your pelvic floor muscles, you don't have that as much. And it also helps to prevent erectile dysfunction because you are working those pelvic floor muscles. Number three, it can help you last longer during sex. So one of the reasons that sometimes men feel like I'm, you know, they're ejaculating too quickly during sex is because they haven't masturbated enough. They haven't gotten one out. So sometimes 
masturbating like an hour before you think you're going to have sex with your partner can help you to last longer because you've gotten that preliminary one out of the way and then you can last longer. Number four, it can help you to know your body. Now, with men, unlike women, I think from generally speaking, men are often encouraged to masturbate, touch their penises more, especially since it's external and you can see it. All of our parts are internal, right? And so men may masturbate more, may feel like I know my body pretty well, me and my penis are on good terms, right? But by masturbating, you can learn more things about your body because it's not just about your penis. There's other parts of your body that maybe you haven't explored that also can feel good to you because there's all of these erogenous zones that you may not have checked out. So masturbating can help you to know your body better and know what feels good to you because you might decide, you know, hey, let me touch my chest or let me touch my arms, my legs, whatever, while you're masturbating and you find out that there's a lot of other erogenous zones that you didn't know about. And number five, masturbation can help to boost your mood. So I think as we go around, sometimes you see a lot of grumpy people. And I remember when I was in outside sales, I used to say, when I met a grumpy office worker or someone at the front desk, I always thought they're not having enough orgasms because they're just grumpy. Right? And I, I still believe that. I still believe that a lot of grumpy people, it, it, they're grumpy just because they're not having enough orgasms. So if you're masturbating, you're having orgasms, you're ejaculating, it releases oxytocin and dopamine, which are feel-good hormones. And so you just feel better. It boosts your mood. So those are your five reasons to masturbate uh, So that, and the benefits that you get from masturbation. So I hope that you try those at some point during this month or think about different ways. If you haven't thought about exploring your body, you can do that. If you're masturbating a little less, maybe you'll increase it because it makes you feel better or it helps to reduce the risk of prostate cancer or strengthens that pelvic floor muscle. And that's something that is always beneficial to you. So I will see you next week. I will be talking about women's benefits and masturbation. And in the meantime, I hope that you have an amazing week and I'll see you next week on The Gen Sexologist. Bye.